Did Kiki, Maxime Lagarde, another very tricky French grandmaster. Okay, I'm gonna try and see if I can get the stone wall again. Well, this way I don't really get to play the stone wall. Wow, H3, that is cheeky. Bishop B4 feels like the the obvious answer here. Not trying to discourage G4 because of Bishop B7 and playing Bishop C3 before he gets time to play. Knight to E2. I had a very similar game, I think, against Halkias at uh, Gaustal in 2002. So I was obviously a uh, much weaker player than he was at that time, but I managed to make a draw. And I probably would have made more than a draw had I not had massive respect for him and accepted a draw in a much better position. But yeah, I, I was a bit of a of a chicken, unfortunately, back in my, my youth. I, uh, in my case, the, uh, the appetite certainly came with, um, with the meal, and I don't think that's an expression in English, but whatever. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that as I got better, I got more, more ambitious as well. Uh, and here, h3 is clearly just a waste of time for him. Uh, compared to, to normal lines. Although, nah, yeah, knight e4 was really, really stupid. Because he could have played knight b3, and then it looks strange. But now that he does this instead, I feel like my play has been sort of justified at least. Although, I mean, the position is not as good for me as it could look at first glance since as they say even the best knight is worse than the, the worst bishop and while that is not exactly true um, uh, it just proves the point that the bishop has often has very big potential even in positions where it looks dormant and dominated by a, by a bishop. So a4, yeah, he's trying to get bishop a3, but I'm kind of happy to see a4 since it makes it more easy for me to uh, to uh, get a pass pawn later on. So I think I'll set about trying to do that immediately. Rookie six, I think that's not very good. Rookie eight now, I was gonna go rook f6 first, but then I saw this little trick. And um, if rookie two, rookie six, and so on, I think I'm just doing very well. So question is, do I want I don't even have to play. Why did I work okay. I don't have to protect that one. That was really dumb. But he's getting desperately short of time now. So, I think I'll try to... Yeah, possibly used the chance to activate the rook, but he didn't give me that chance. So. Does p4 make any sense? Should play rook a7 first. <laughs> Grand rook a7. No. Feels like my, my pawn is just marching. Yeah. 
Yeah, rook b7, you can go king c3 and avoid immediate disaster. He's not gonna last eventually.